our favorite, Al Master Al Mu'awwal. My brother and sister, Al Master Al Mu'awwal can come as a Mubtada. Huh? We never studied that before. Now we are going to study. The huh? Master Al Mu'awwal, a clause functioning as a Master. Remember, we change Master Mu'awwal into a proper Master. Okay? Antasumu khairun lakum. So what is antasumu? An harfu mastariyin wa nasbin. Tasumu fi'alun mudariyun mansubun bi hadfi noon. Noon is raf. Where is the file? Wow. Which is antum. Okay? Khairun lakum. So here, Antasumu has come in the beginning. What is this now? Now the Master Mu'awwal is fi mahli raf in mubtada. What is it? Fi mahli raf in mubtada. Now translate, brothers and sisters. Here the clause Antasumu functions as a Master, infinitive. As it means... What does it mean? A sound, fasting. Okay? So it will become uh, Siyamukum Khairun Lakum. What is it? Siyamukum Khairun Lakum. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what is Antasumu? Al Master Al Muawwal Fi Mahli Rafa'in Mubtida. Or then you can, we can say after that, Takdeerul Kalami, the estimation of the speech is Siyamukum. Takdeerul Kalami, what it will be, brothers and sisters? Takdeerul Kalami, Siyamukum. Khairun Lakum. Okay. We do not have to literally change it, we only do it for our practice. Otherwise, in the Quran it will come. What, what will come in the Quran? Antasumu khairun lakum. So we know that here Antasumu is Muptada. Huh? So we know that here Antasumu is Muptada. Huh? Number third, brother. A particle resembling the verb. Now again, we come into advanced level. Before we used to say, Inna wa khwatu inna. Now, inna is described as a particle which resembles the verb. You see, the verb will have a mafulun bihi. Are you with me? And inna will have a in ism which is mansub. So, inna also works like a verb. It gives nasab. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, it is called in the grammar, brother. A particle resembling the verb. It's a particle. It's not verb. But it resembles the verb in its effect. Are you with me, brother and sister? Inna Allah ghafurun rahim. So what is called, brother and sisters? Al hurufu inna wa akhwatu inna. What are they called? Al huruful mushabbahatu. Means, Particles resembling bil fial with verb. You will remember this. And what are they? Inna and its sisters. La kinna, la Allah, laita. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So here we are. Three kinds of beginning in the Jumla Ismiya. What is the first beginning? It could be a pronoun. Or it could be a noun. Second beginning, it could be master mu'awwal. Third beginning, it could be inna wa akhwatu inna. Al huruful mushabbahatu bil fi'al. Particle resembling verb. So this is our jumla ismiya. Our khabar will stay the same way. Now we talk about jumla failure. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? 
Now, in your handout, book three handout, book two and three handout, huh? we have given you a one page, brothers and sisters, in which we describe the verbs. The verb can be a complete verb or it can be incomplete. Are you with me? Fialu tamun or fialu nakis. Are you with me? It is there. Please read it at home. Okay. What page is that, Sister Mamuna? Page 18, inshallah. You'll check it in the handout. Huh? It gives you a complete idea about the uh, two kinds of verbs. But Dr. Sab has mentioned it also here very beautifully. We'll look into it. Verbal sentence. The beginning of a verbal sentence is one of the following. A complete verb. al tamu. Complete verb. Talatishamsu. Talatishamsu. The sun rose. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what is tala? Tala a is your verb. What is the next one? Taotanisi. Where is the file? Shamsu. Okay. A complete verb is the one that needs a file. That verb needs a doer of action. Okay? For example, Dakhala. There is the file. Mustatir. He entered. Kharaja. Nama. Jalasa. All these verbs have file. They have doer of action. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. An incomplete verb. Al fialu nakisu. Kan al jawu baridan. The weather was cold. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, kana, what is the kana meaning of? What is the meaning of kana? He was. Is it complete? No. We have to bring the predicate. We have to bring some kind of a khabar. To make a sense out of the sentence. So then, kana, we will call it incomplete. Huh? See, jalasa, he said. It gives us a complete sense. Kana, it does not give us a complete sense. So, we will call kana, incomplete verb. Complete verbs will have fa'il. Incomplete verbs will have ism. And it will have khabar. Two things are important. Ism plus khabar. Otherwise, there is no sense in the sentence. Okay, it will not give you a clear cut sense. Okay. That's it, brothers and sisters. Now on page 40, brothers and sisters, I want you to pay some attention. Here are some examples of mustar mu'awwal. And we have done it you know, quite a bit. You are all very strong. Okay? And if you need little more revision, then again in this uh, handout of book 2 and 3, we got about 6 to 8 pages of Master Mu'awwal. You can quickly go through it, you know. Okay? In the place of Rafa, remember, we will always say al Master al Mu'awwal fi mahalli Rafa'in Fi mahalli nasbin, fi mahalli jar. Okay. Now here is again another example of Master Mu'awwal coming as a Mubtada. An tadrusal arbiyata. What is it? An tadrusal arbiyata afdalu. So what is an? Harfu nasmin wa mastariyin tadrusa khailun mudariyun mansubun bil fatah Where is the file? Mustatir takdiruhu anta anta And what is an arbiyata? Mafulun bihi 